everybody. Today's actually gonna be a really chill day, which is actually why I wanted to vlog today because I feel like a lot of the vlogs lately I have been doing so much. To be honest, that's not typical. Like usually I'm a pretty chill person. I like to do a lot of stuff and I like to have fun and I like to get out there and have adventures, but a lot of the time I also just like to chill. I think today, it's just gonna be a chill day. <laughs> it is 7.30 in the morning right now. It is so difficult to sleep past a certain point when it's this sunny outside. Well, I think a lot of it has to do with the fact that it's like pretty much summertime too, and obviously the sun rises a lot earlier, but yeah. Sunshine. Oh, kitty. What are you doing? Bye. Susan actually likes to take Noelle with her to work in the morning. It gets Noelle out of the house and she gets to have a fun little experience and see lots of humans that will probably love her. So it's just me and Kitty right now, which, where did the kitty go? What are you doing? What are you doing? Get out of the toilet. Get out of there. Get out, get out of the toilet. Gross! Alrighty, I have just gotten a little bit of work done, but it is now lunchtime. But before I actually eat lunch, it's getting quite warm. Summertime in Montana, I mean, it's not like it's summertime in Vegas, but it is still quite toasty. So, I am going to put a dress on. I figured it would be a good day for a dress. There we go. Rather summery get up. Now, Glasses are coming off. Much better. For lunch today, I think I'm just gonna make some tuna salad. Since I've been going to the gym, by the way, I've been going to the gym so much lately, I'm so proud of myself. But with going to the gym, I have been really wanting to make sure I'm eating adequate amounts of protein. And I mean, it's definitely not like I'm not getting enough protein. I'm definitely getting enough protein. But I'm really wanting to build up a little bit of muscle right now as well as lose a little bit of fat, like just lower my body fat percentage a little bit. So that's kind of my goal at the moment. Okay, if I could get the tuna out, that would be awesome. Eh, come on, Costco. There we go. Tuna. So yeah, I've just been really trying to make sure I'm keeping my protein levels up quite high. So I like to eat something with a decent amount of protein for both lunch and for dinner, and I'm really not a big breakfast eater. I've never been a big breakfast eater. I've never really enjoyed breakfast. In fact, for the longest time, it made me feel nauseous. Like I just physically do not like eating right when I wake up or within a certain amount of time after I wake up. Instead, I pretty much just make a more substantial lunch, something that keeps me full for a while. So tuna salad is a great thing that keeps you full for a while. Kitty, what? Oh, your sister's toy is down there. Don't show me your butt. Don't walk away from me. If you're like, man, I love tuna salad, but it's so boring. I definitely want to spice up my tuna salad. This is weird maybe, but I really like to cut up an apple, like half of an apple into little tiny chunks and throw it in with my tuna salad. The sweetness of the apple just balances out kind of the more saltiness of the tuna. And it's a really great combo. So that's pretty much it. So a little bit of mayo some tuna and an apple. All right, tuna, apple chunkies. Gonna throw these apples in here. Mm -mm. Apple's good, man. So once the apples are thrown in there, I'm just going to take a little bit of mayonnaise, maybe about a, a tablespoon, tablespoon and a half. And there is my lunch for the day. I'm also super psyched for myself because I have been drinking an entire gallon of water every single day. Hydrated, protein, gym. I'm just feeling really, really good. All right, pretty much all done with work for the day, so. We're gonna go to the gym. It's also really super windy outside. I'm wondering if we're gonna have like storminess blow through, but I guess, I guess we're gonna see. What is that noise? Oh my gosh, that's so funny. It's so windy. You see the bells moving? That's, that's the door to the basement. The wind is like creating a draft and it's moving. Like it's making the door like, like jiggle back and forth. <laughs> huh, 
that's funny. Anyway. Oh my goodness. Just got out of the gym. If you could tell I'm pretty pink cheeked at the moment. And do I still have, no, I don't have sweat dripping down my cheek or my neck anymore. Every time I finish at the gym, and I think it might be because recently, in, in addition to doing my uh, strength training stuff, I, at the end of each workout, I will usually do about 10 minutes of like interval training on either the elliptical or the bike. And um, I'm out of breath still. <laughs> that makes me drip with sweat. So every time I leave the gym, I'm literally dripping in sweat. Like I have to wipe down all the machines after, which you're supposed to do anyway. But like I definitely have to because I have actual sweat droplets all over the machine because I've been dripping sweat. For those of you who are like into fitness, when you're done with your workout, are you dripping with sweat? Like, should I be? I mean, I don't think it's a bad thing to be like actually dripping with sweat, but I don't know, is that something I should be aiming for every time? Should I dial it back a bit? Like, I just don't really know. Like I said, I don't think dripping with sweat is a bad thing. Beneficial to cardiovascular health, but still it's kind of like, I don't know if I should do that every single time I work out, but it has actually been every time I like leave the gym, I'm dripping in sweat. I don't know, let me know. Now I'm gonna drink my protein shake which I have right here, ready to go. And I'm gonna head home. And I have to show you what I'm making for dinner because it is so good and so healthy for you. So I'm gonna show you what we're having for dinner tonight. Do you wanna go feed Reno? Do you wanna go give Reno a carrot? When I got back to Montana, there was a horse in this pasture that's like next to the house that I've never seen before. And I was like, why is there a horse there? I seriously think Susan has told me this like probably four or five different times. And I keep forgetting like where this horse like showed up from, but this horse just showed up. Her name, I think it's a girl. Her name is Reno and Reno is, is very lonely. I think Reno's a rather social horse. Like she's just a social creature and like most horses, Reno likes carrots. Noelle, you wanna go feed Reno? You know what's also hilarious? Noelle likes carrots. Watch this, ready? We got these carrots. I'm gonna give her a little bit. You want carrots? She's like, oh, yes, I love carrots. Oh, I think she saw a bunny. <laughs> Reno! There's Reno. Come here! Oh my God, cat. How did you do that? Did you get underneath the window? Oh, oh my god. Gotta go rescue my cat. Kitty. Okay, well, I don't know where the cat is, but the screens are intact. There you are. Don't get under there. In fact, I'm gonna close these a little bit so she can't squeeze under there. Noelle also loves horses. She's a total, like, if she, I think she would be the happiest dog in the world. If she could live in Montana forever with the wide open spaces and all of the creatures, but that is not the case. Is that Reno? Reno! Want carrot? Reno is not interested in this carrot right now. <gasps> Who's home? Grandma's home! Susan's just pulling up right now. Come here. Okay, let's go get her. <laughs> Oh, cool, what'd you get? Well, there's only one thing you're gonna be happy I got. <laughs> oh. Well, I thought you might have fun cooking, doing something with these. Oh, <gasps> chives! Or, you know, green onions. I yeah, love green onions. Look, they're purple. At the bottom. Yeah, but I don't know if it will do anything. That's, <laughs> that's okay, these are awesome. I love green onions. Well, Noelle. <gasps> Noelle, Noelle what'd you get? No, 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 not the green onions. Look at grandma. <gasps> Oh, she's like, okay, I'm interested. And then, homemade blueberry scones. Okay, dessert, maybe, or you know, whatever. That looks really good. Exactly. And you don't have to eat it. Is it a cookie? Homemade. So this is dinner tonight, which is actually not the prettiest looking thing in the world, but it's half of a very large, spaghetti squash, you bake it, and then you scoop out all the guts, and then you mix it up with some sausage, and some onion, and some garlic, and some Italian seasoning, and some sauce, and then you put it back in, and you put cheese on top of it, and it becomes spaghetti squash lasagna. So good, even Noelle is interested. Is it good? It's 
super, super duper good. So we're gonna eat this and watch Jane the Virgin, which is the newest obsession, I think, in this house, so yeah. I tinfoiled my windows because I was desperate to sleep in. <laughs> so that one just has tinfoil and obviously I need to fix it because I don't know why it's so bright right there. I think light must be getting through and then this looks so silly. This is a curtain, but there's no curtain rod, so I literally just taped the curtain to the window, and I put some tin foil here, here, and here on top, and then I cut up a cardboard box and put it on the bottom. And I did the same thing over here, but this one kind of covered up the window a little bit more. I'm kind of desperate. These windows face east, and so the light pours in, especially during this time of the year. It's summer, well, you know, it's almost summertime, almost, I mean, the sun starts to rise at like five, maybe even earlier, honestly. I'm awake and ready to get out of bed by like 6.30 or seven, which I've never been that kind of person before. I've always slept in because I've been getting up so early. I've been going to bed so late though because that's like the time that I can talk to Blake. When I go to bed past midnight and I've been going to the gym so much, but my body is like, you need to wake up at 6.30. I'm just not getting enough sleep. So hopefully this will make a difference but I guess we'll see. <laughs> For today's question of the day, what is your favorite healthy food to cook? The spaghetti squash I consider to be fairly healthy because it's it's a healthy carb. It's, you know, there's lots of fiber, but also it's really easy to like, you can, you can make the spaghetti squash lasagna into pretty much anything you want. Like you don't have to add sausage. You can add like tomatoes and like all kinds of vegetables to it if you want. You also don't have to add cheese and you could just modify it to like, to fit your macros, to do kind of like whatever you want. So it's a really easy thing to make and it tastes so good. It's like the most like, it, it's just savory and delicious. And I actually got the idea not from me. Like I got it from a recipe like on a on a blog somewhere. So I will link the, the actual recipe in the description down below if you wanna check it out. But yeah, let me know if you have any like super healthy recipes because I have been super into cooking healthy food lately to just complement the rest of my healthy lifestyle. So, yeah, I'd love to hear what you guys have been making that is healthy. So I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. If you did, make sure you give it a big thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you next time. I also have a goal for the next vlog. We're gonna make it happen, but you have to stay tuned. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you next time. Bye. Oh, Noelle. I know the baby's so cute. This little nubby.